Good morning, Cyber Traders. Happy Thursday and an exciting Thursday because today is the first day of the month. And thank God we're out of November, October. No more October crashes. All right. Good to see you, Steve. Ken, good to see you. Lita, Mary, good to see you all. All Cyber Traders, Neil, everybody. Welcome back. I feel like, uh, I don't know, I've been up since five o'clock this morning and I was just, I, I just couldn't wait until October was over. You know, October is finally the month where everyone gets their bonuses and, you know, they get paid for those hol uh, holiday bonuses. You don't probably think about those things, but I do because that's what people do in the trading business. You know, they want to they want to make sure they finished out the year with a big bang. So that's why you always get this cra crazy volatility. So I don't know whatever you hear on, on the news and stuff. That's really the top story. But. I buy that, Fausto. You did uh, you did good this morning. <laughs> well, thanks a lot, Grant, and uh, and 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 welcome. And it's always nice to have you here. And thanks for those great comments that you gave us yesterday, Grant. In the meantime, guys, uh, top story: what's going on? First of all, you know, is November. It's the first day of the month. It is Thursday. There's a lot of uh, you know, there's a little, quite a few news, uh, you know, that's coming out. I think they're saying that. Uh, Google workers are threatening to walk out. I mean, that's going to be an interesting one. Looks like somebody's going to get a wake-up call this morning. Uh, GM announces buyout, you know, buyout. So we saw that GM right here. It's got a nice little buyout. But there's a lot going on. And also, I'm noticing a little uptick in, in, the, in the pot stock. So looks like we're having a nice little rally past three days. And it looks like it's going to spin off into today, which is pretty much which I expect to be normal. That's what's going to happen. But before we do that, guys, let's talk about yesterday. I don't know about you, but there was really one good runner that we had yesterday, and that was the Jones, J-O-N-E. So if you guys missed it, don't worry about it. There's another one that will always be out there. But that was our real nice winner for yesterday. Went from 11, uh, from 11 o'clock. It ran from 280 all the way to 440. You could see that right around 12 o'clock right there. It made that nice little pop. Just kind of broke higher highs, nice Fausto flags, everything. Boom, things just took right off and did amazing all the way to 440. Now, you get people always ask, well, why is it down to 240? Doesn't matter. Great traders never buy it at 260 and sell it at 440. We buy it at three and we'll sell it at 350. Maybe if you're good, maybe four. It's all about the momentum. It's all about trading. Uh, but overall, that was really the big winner. Other than that, I thought it was kind of bad. Hold on one second, guys. Let me uh, share that with you. In the meantime, um, that's pr pretty much about it. I mean, I didn't really see that much out there. And it's typical for a you know, last day of the pay period and in October. Uh, I told you that in the morning meeting yesterday. You're not going to see a lot of action. You know, as much, a lot of crazy volatility. And with the Dow, what it did yesterday, it was kind of pretty much flat. I'm, I'm actually, uh, yeah, it should be coming up now. There you go. All right. So you can see it right here again, just pointing it out. Boom, from 280 all the way to 440. Okay. Now, um, regarding about what's going to expect going on to today, um, before we go into the watch lists, I want to kind of make a recommendation to all the traders. Okay. Now, a lot of you here have been here for a long, long time. And, you know, I know I, we, you know, we've changed so many lives, you know, people's careers, everything. And, you know, there, there's so many people here. We have, you know, engineers. We have business owners, grandmas, grandpas, you know, pharmacists, doctors, you know, accountants. I mean, I, you know, I could go down the list. And a lot of you guys changed your career, finally found that this is something you want to do. But um, I have a little request for all my advanced traders that have been here for a while. And um, you know that when you originally came to CTU, you know, you didn't know if it was for you or not. And then you would watch all the traders in the room and you were like, I don't think I could do that. You know, I don't think I could compete. You know, these guys, I don't know what they're saying. It's exciting, but, you know, it looks like it's out of my league. And I told everybody this. I said, guys. You will get there. I was there also. Don't let don't let the traders discourage you in the room. They were you. You know what you're what you're seeing today, and um, and the whole goal is you know we're not here to brag. And I tell everybody that you know whenever people come here, we, you, if you notice, we don't tell people. Maybe once in a while we'll say how much we're up here and there, but we don't sit there and brag that we're up X amount of dollars in every single trade. Well, I do have one little request. 
okay? The request is this. Everybody here is talking about how many points were up, right? And that's what we, we preach because we don't want to discourage new traders. But I have a recommendation. I have a request for everyone. Can we just say a couple of the losers? I know we don't have a lot of them, but everybody thinks we just make money here, okay? Nobody talks about the losers. So once in a while, go out there and, you know, just tell someone your entry and, and, and tell them your losses. It's okay. It's okay to lose. But you know what? If we didn't lose, we would never be winners. Remember, I always preach losing is a good thing because when you lose money, right, you, you don't want to do that again. So, you know, just, a, you know, I never, I always want to always tell everybody this, that, you know, I always, you know, when you come to class and you take the class to CTU, remember, this is a trading room. It's not a teaching room. Okay. So when it comes to trading, you know, and I say, listen, you got to come to class and I need to teach you how to lose money so you don't do it. Thanks for very, Carmen just saying, good for you, Fausto. That's real. It, you know what, Carmen, that's one of why I love trading because, you know, everybody thinks they can't do it because everybody's losing. And, and I don't want anybody to think that in the trading room that we don't lose. We lose a lot. We win more than we lose, but we do lose. And, you know, I know nobody likes to talk about the losses and whatever it is, but you know how many times I've been there in the trading room and you guys here and I'm in class and I said, you know what, that was a pretty damn good loss. They're like, I never heard that before. Yeah, that was a really good loss. You know why? Because that $200 loss could have been a $2,000 loss. So I think everyone here just, you know, needs to realize the new traders need to see and newcomers to see that, hey, we do lose money, but it's, it's, how, it's that we can control it. All right. So request before we go through the watch list, just I want to take a, take a little quick time out and give everybody a reality check that we do lose. And, you know, we, we'll, we'll start going out there and posting some a little bit more losses. Uh, not losers, just an, expen uh, an expensive education. That's what it really comes down to. It's part of your education to lose. That's right. Audio's in and out. I don't know. If, is, is everybody hear me okay? Just want to make sure. All right. Okay, good. Thanks, guys. All right, so now we got that. That's the tip of the day, and um, let's have some fun with that. Now let's go out there and see what's moving this morning. Okay, so there are a couple of stocks that hopefully we don't get suckered into again, but Tops, you know, is playing some games with us. Uh, it's got a little nasty shakes here and there. It's got, you know, but the stock has been trickling up nice and slowly. Something's going on with the stock. Stock was at a dollar. You could see it's starting to build a little bit of Fausto flag over here. Big, big, big orders out here, 10,000. We know the stock does trade a lot of shares, but it is pretty. it looks pretty interesting on the top. So something's going on with the shipping stocks. Neil, we're going to get to that Fitbit too also. Uh, Neil said he just made about eight cents on that one. All right, let's give him a round of applause. All right, good. All right, so we got the tops. We got the uh, Vodafone. Oops, typed it in the wrong window. Vodafone also um, has been taking a huge major hit and uh, looks like it's coming back today. I don't know what's going on, but I don't like when I see the spottiness like this. But stock, you can see here, does trade a lot of shares. Look at that. Um, takes a lot to move Vodafone, but you can see 14,000, 9,000. So iceberg order is going to probably be kind of hard to see in Vodafone, but I haven't seen Vodafone trade in a while. I, I've stayed away from it for a long time. You could see here from the chart and on the long term, it's got a lot of gaps. Doesn't really move over the course of the day, but you know what? I want to keep an eye on it. Kind of made the watch list and uh, saw it in my big percentage gainers there, so I want to keep an eye on it. Uh, CEME, this stock got destroyed, okay? A and you know what? The writing was on the wall. If you're a day trader, you would have known to get out sooner. You want a swing trade, you wake up to a catastrophe. That, well, that's what ends up happening if you don't know what's happening, uh, if you don't manage your, your stocks good enough. But this looks like a little, maybe it could be a buying opportunity. Stock, you can see it's starting to gap up a little bit, even though it's down 72,000 shares. Um, there are really good orders out here on the matrix, so we'll keep an eye on that CME. The big winner that we got this morning, I did pretty well on this one already, and uh, is the NFX. So everybody here, if you logged in around 8 o'clock this morning, everyone should have got in around the 2250 to 
$23 price range. Now, it's starting to back off right now, but everyone should have got in. If you were here around 8.30, let me just fix this time frame here and make it maybe a little bit easier to read. Everyone should have been right around here. Stock took a humongous hit, and you know now it could be basically a bottom fish. So NF, uh, NFX, you know, I got out of it. You know, and it backed off a little bit. I, I kind of took my profit, but we'll see how it's going to basically trade. NFX, NECA are merging, Fernando. Right, so the, when that happens, you know, one's down, one's usually up, and that's what we're getting with the ECA, the ECA trading 12 million shares right there. So mergers are kind of hard to kind of figure out where the buyout is what people are looking to do and everything and you know what we're not whatever the merger the merger or the buyout prices guys we here at ctu we kind of don't really trade that because you know we don't want to tie up our money and then find out and wait and get the buyout later so i'll be a little cautious on those two all right so anyway that's why we took the money and ran on that one fnd is another one that made my watch list over here uh, this stock is up about 15%, 80,000, uh, 86,000 shares traded, was a $55 stock, got destroyed down all the way down to the 25s, scapping up a little bit. The only issue I have with this one, spread. Spread is really, really big. So we want to be careful on that one. Uh, yeah, we're going to check on that one, Benito, the TEVA. That was also on the watch list. There were, remember, this morning's pre-market watch list, which we post every morning. I post them around 8 o'clock this morning. Some of them are still there. Some of them are not there. And the TEVA was one of them. And uh, it's moving nicely. Just be careful. For some of you that are beginner traders, I don't really recommend you trade it because this stock is pretty damn volatile. And that's what you have to be concerned about. And then the last one, I know when uh, Josh did the afternoon meeting, he was talking about the, uh, the Fitbit. And uh, Fitbit had... Really good earnings yesterday, gapped up, and then really didn't go anywhere. And uh, you know, I always tell everybody, listen, you could always buy it back in the morning, okay? We could always buy it back in the morning. Don't worry about it. So at 8.30 this morning, you could have came in, could have slept that night. If you had a game plan, you liked it, and you watched it yesterday going to the close, could have jumped in exactly at the same price. Everybody here, if you did like it, you could have got in at 5.35. And right now, you're up about 10 cents on 1,000 shares, 100 bucks. You know, some of you would be pretty damn happy with that, working for 30 minutes. So anyway, that one looks pretty good also. The, uh, the ACB is another one that is gapping up. And you know what? I had this one in the morning watch list. We did really well on it. Stock took a big hit. It was good yesterday. I had that little bit of a move. I'm just not too crazy about the pre-market going on right now. That's the only concern I really, I'm not, you know, it backed off from 720. That's why... I found it at 8 o'clock this morning, and then obviously it backed off, and that's why I kind of didn't throw it back on my watch list, and I backed off on that one. So that was my issue on that. So listen, today is day one of the month, okay? So when that happens, you're not going to get the, the craziest volatility going on, but the market does look pretty strong. We're having a really good three days. I, don't, you know, I think people are going to be a little cautious up until election day. I told you I moved my last training lesson, the final phase three, lesson four, to, to Wednesday morning for the purpose of we get this only every two years, so we're going to see how to react to it. So I saved that class for you guys. I didn't do it yesterday afternoon, so we're going to save it uh, for that day, so we'll see how it works out. But other than that, everything looks uh, pretty decent. Now, remember, guys, remember what I said? Let's tell everyone if we lost money, okay? Because everybody thinks we only, we only make money here at CTU. And uh, let's just show them the losers and how few that we have and how we take them while they're good losses. Because if we didn't, there would have been huge losses. Remember, your best education is losing money because you know why you did it. You're not going to do it again. That's the key. The winners take care of themselves. It's the losers that we need to control. All right, guys? So let's go out there. Let's, and if, you, if there's anything else new out there, we'll go out there and share it. And then remember, if you are a new trader to the CTU trading room, uh, remember you have full access to everything here at CTU. So please talk to your education advisor. Let him explain to you what's going on so you're not confused and see why, um, and see why uh, you want to be part of the CTU family. Good luck, everyone. Happy trading. See you back at 2.30 for the afternoon.